Hey there, what's going on, Scorpio? How are you? Scorpio, I want to thank y'all so much for your love and support, your time, your energy, your awesomeness, your light, um, the good vibes that you give. I really, really appreciate all of you. And as always, I give that energy right back to you. So Scorpio, we're going to go ahead and jump into your love and romance messages for, uh, well, for the last 11 days of the year <laughs> of 2021. Okay. Um, so I'm excited to get these messages out for you guys. Um, make sure that you hit the like, share and subscribe button. Okay. Please make sure that you understand these messages are general. So do not force the message if it doesn't fit. Okay. Make sure you're using your intuition as well as your discernment. Okay. When listening. Um, so Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as Cross Watcher, these messages could be for you guys. All right. Messages for Scorpio for the last 11 days of December, 2021, 21st through 31st. What are the messages for love, uh, for Scorpio in love, romance, and relationships? Okay. Spirit said one more time. All right, dream lover, book of love, playing games. Hmm. Okay, seduction, wings of love. Okay, forbidden fruit. Okay, and then under the deck here, we have magic moment. All right, so this is an interesting um, little story here that I'm being shown as I look at this here, Scorpio. Um, and it's so it's weird. It's so funny. OK, because so the card under the deck here, we have magic moments. All right. So uh, this could indicate to me, it really feels like there is there's like a aha moment or like a eureka moment that you guys are going to be having in love. OK, because this is what I'm feeling like when I look at your cards here on the top row, we have dream lover, book of love and then playing games. So this makes me feel like Scorpio for a lot of you for a long time. This really makes me feel as though there's been a particular type of person that you've had in your mental someone that you want to like be with. All right. Or the ideal person. OK, um, you're looking for like when I look at the book of love here is like. It, it's like you it's almost like you want it to be like a fairy tale love in a way, you know, perfect, perfect person meets perfect person or at the right time or like this person like checks off all of your, you know, all of the things that you want from your list is what I feel there. OK, so it's like this dream lover, this person that you have ideal. OK, and then we have playing games. So it kind of makes me feel like up to a certain point, I, I, I think that you haven't really been serious with a lot of different people. OK, now if this isn't your message, this isn't your message, but this is just what I'm seeing. OK, so for, you know, but, you know, in your heart, right, if this is who I'm talking about. Or if you're who I'm talking about. So I do think that up to a certain point, you know, you may not have been getting serious with a lot of different people because, you know, you've been kind of looking, you've been kind of dating casually, you've been kind of trying to find that particular person. OK, um, I do see seduction, wings of love and then forbidden fruit. OK, so with seduction, wings of love and forbidden fruit, I do feel like, you know, with this happening, I feel like you kind of maybe have been leaving a trail of like. <laughs> broken hearts in your wake, you know, so to speak, maybe not to that dramatic uh, or intensity of, you know, of the extreme of it, but, you know, maybe not all like that, but to a certain degree, I just feel like you guys have been, you know, you know, you may have been just kind of dealing with people that you're kind of like the one that got away. Okay. Um, now, like I said, there is a moment that does happen during these 10 days where I do feel like something changes. OK, here and with the wings of love, I definitely feel like the right person is going to be carried to you. The person that you are fantasizing or the person that is most closely to what it is that you would that would be your ideal person uh, will be um, paying you a visit. OK, um, and they're going to show up as, as forbidden fruit. Now, what I oh Lord, why did I say that, Scorpio? Because now y'all going to be like, well, I don't want nobody else's man. It might not even be like that. Okay. Now I'm not even going to say it could be, 
Okay, because I don't know y'all's lives. I don't know y'all's story, Scorpio. So, you know, whatever. Okay, but it definitely does look as though, um, you know, you could even be the forbidden fruit to that other person. Maybe if you're already involved in another situation. Okay, but what I feel like is, is it's not that it's not even that serious anyway, because you're not even taking anybody else serious anyway. Okay, so it's more like, you know, um, it's more of like this person is like the shiny new fruit that is being presented to you. Um, you know, spirit just showed me something else. Spirit just showed me that some of you. Okay. Some of you will be someone's temptation is what I'm hearing. Some, uh, or, or, or whatever, or there is some sort of temptation that will be, uh, coming through to you. Okay. I don't know why spirit wanted me to say that. But I, sorry, y'all. If y'all if y'all follow it, you, you then great. Okay, but I just I'm, I'm seeing the word temptation here. Um. Hmm. It feels like it's a very very high attraction to uh someone who just kind of seems as though they're not available. Lord Scorpio, y'all gonna think I'm telling y'all to take somebody, man. That's not what I'm saying. Or woman. That's not what I'm saying at all. <laughs> I'm not saying that at all. Ah, that's what, okay. Spirit, thank you for showing me that. Uh, the forbidden fruit and playing games are right here up under each other. So what it feels like to me is it feels like someone is playing cat and mouse with you a little bit. And it's like making you kind of have to chase them. That's what I'm that's what I'm hearing. And uh Scorpio, you chasing somebody? Wow. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and pull some tarot here and see what else we can find out about this time frame in love, romance, and relationships for Scorpio. Okay, Page of Cups, Three of Pentacles, The Hermit, okay, Wheel of Fortune, mm -hmm. The Moon, Seven of Swords, oh wow, and then under the deck we've got Two of Cups, yeah, Scorpio, the energy here. It feels to me that some of you during this time frame, um, I feel like there's going to be some sort of, for some of you, there's going to be some sort of conflict that is being worked out uh, between you and a current partner. Okay. For some of you who are already in established relationships, I feel like uh, there's some sort of conflict that may be getting worked out between you guys. Okay. Maybe something that someone didn't know, maybe something that someone was hiding. OK, uh, maybe I feel like a lie. Of, there was some sort of lie of omission, Scorpio. OK, um, and it really caused someone else to withdraw. I feel like and I feel like the, the person who withheld the information is very apologetic about the situation. They're hoping that things can be different. They're hoping that things can work out. I do feel like Scorpio, uh, the other party will be willing to work it out. Um, but I also feel as though that it will come after some sort of time of like solitude while they try to work out like okay well if i'm gonna be with this person again then what am i gonna get out of it okay so scorpio some of y'all are dealing with that okay i feel like this is two very very different stories for some of you um for some of you it may kind of overlap here all right but uh but yeah but that's your message here for the rest of the year scorpio i definitely feel like this is is, is big energy okay uh, um i feel like both stories are big energy and I'm interested in seeing how this carries over into next year. So Scorpio, let me know how it works out in the comment box below. I thank you guys so much for your time. You guys enjoy the rest of your year. And I'll see you guys later next year. <laughs> Bye.